Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Sega Power. Uh, I don't think I ever had these magazines originally when I was uh, a teenager or preteen. I uh, picked them up in um, Super Tomato in Cardiff, uh, one of my favourite shops at the moment. And I thought we'll uh, have a little gander. I picked up a few of these. I've purely gone on the cover. If it's got something that's remotely interesting, uh, or I find remotely interesting rather, uh, I just buy it. So, as you probably know by now, I'm a massive fan of Primal Rage and uh, Street Fighter 2, the game, the movie, is uh, there's a feature in here as well. Oh, the chance to win a Saturn. Oof, look out for that. Um, unfortunately, there were uh, Clarets Mini Mints, but they're not there. I wonder where they are. I want them. Where are my bleeding Clarets? See that news agent now. Right, I'll have to go back to the shop, see where the fuck they are, like, you know? Anyway, let's move on. Let right, me sure you're in the middle there. Uh, uh, always seem to be an advert. Must pay quite a bit of money to have their adverts. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a shit there. Um, at the front of the magazine, Street Racer. It's a Mega Drive. Ah, I see what they did there. Uh, contents, anything else stand out? Obviously, I can't wait to get to the the Primal Rage. Let's have a look. Well, that looks like um, Dark Stalkers. Anything else? Right, okay. Oh, good one. Fatal Fury. Uh, CD for the Mega CD. Brian Lara, Samurai Showdown. Look at the way they spelled Showdown. Interesting. Uh, for the Mega CD. Uh, anything else standing out, guys? Oh, I look, look forward to that as well. NBA Action for the Mega Drive. The thing here now, though, right? You've got the 32X Mega Drive, Mega CD. And Saturn. And they have games coming out for all four. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too much in my opinion. Too much uh, pressure on the parents, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's uh, carry on. Oh, what's this? Street Fighter manga movie. The big Street Fighter movie should be around, out around now. Okay, that's cool. Again, I don't want to be too long on these videos. Ah, oh, now then. As you know, I'm a big fan of the film. Really big fan of the game. Uh, I'm, I want like a big like movie, original movie poster, movie size. You know the ones you have outside the cinemas. So I haven't looked into it. But I think that looked look really sick on my games room, you know. Yeah, I really like that. So I can have Van Damme watching me when I'm uh, playing. Oh, Primal Rage. Right, okay, so feature how many pages we got. Nice, got a good couple of pages of Primal Rage. Oh, Sega Power's Most Wanted. Now, my first saying about the cinema now, just uh, on the last page, my first experience with this game, um, I can't remember exactly who I was with, but um, I was in the old Audion Cinema. No idea what film we were there to watch. We had about half hour to wait before we could go in to watch the movie. So naturally, um, they had like a little arcade there. Well, I wouldn't call it arcade. They were about five or six arcade machines, you know. And Primal Rage was one of them. Um, and it was much more expensive than the other games there. It was something like, most games are like 10 to 20 pence. Now I'm going back to the 90s now, guys. So it was a lot cheaper back then. Uh, 10, 20 pence per go. And I think this was 50 pence. So I thought, right, I could have potentially five goes on another game or one go on this out of my 50p. So I put my 50 pence in, super excited. Nothing happened. Pressing all the buttons. Then you got that thing you push in for your coin to fucking come out. Didn't come out. Um, so I said, like, well, what do I do? I've lost 50p. A lot of money back then. Do you know what I mean? When I'm on, I can't remember how much pocket money. Um... More than half that week's spark of money had been spent on going to the cinema to watch the movie. So uh, there was two old biddies working there, um, but they were nothing to do with the, the machines. So I said, you know, oh, the 
machine primal rage swallowed my money she was like what primal oh she had no fucking clue what i was talking about and yeah she sounded exactly like that so it's a perfect uh impression of a fucking voice i sh- I said, yeah, the machine, the arcade machine, I put 50p in and it didn't work. Um, and she was, she said, all oh, right, you need to um, put your name and address on a piece of paper. And she handed me like a scrap of paper. It wasn't like a out of a, like a tear out of a box. It was just literally like fucking a corner of an envelope or something. Write your name and address and then we'll post the 50p to you. And I, even back then, I was a gullible uh, youngster like but even back then I knew this is a fucking waste of time so that was my first ever impression of Primal Rage I didn't actually get to play it uh, in the arcade so I had to wait for the console version you know uh, then I had the Super Nintendo version uh, which didn't have any blood uh, anyway so that's that's my introduction to the Primal Rage and I've loved it ever since but didn't have the best experience when uh, when I first tried to play it, but um, yeah, the, it's just you know as a teenager the the artwork and everything like that it was so appealing to me you know uh, you had the characters uh, chaos was my favorite character um, oh there he is there some of the special moves in the arcade the, on the demo they had running um, he was like. As like a finisher, when when his uh, opponent was was dead on the floor, he'd pee on them and stuff like that. Sounds gross, but it was really that was our sense of humour back in the day. So you had Talon Chaos. He's good fun as well. Um, but it was Chaos and um, Blizzard was the other one. Let's see if we can find him now. Vertigo. Uh, Vertigo was the hardest um one to go against when the computer's controlling him. Really hard. Got loads of range. Um, but you've got to be good to play as him. You've got to be pretty good. So, um, yeah, I suck at uh, fighting games, unfortunately. So, But I obviously, I still love them. Uh, yeah, there's Blizzard there. And so on. But yeah, the... Oh, look at that. Love it. I hope you can see that, okay? Um, yeah, but Chaos was like the one on the cover and stuff like that. I just thought he was so, so fucking cool. Uh, let's have a look what else we got here. Uh, your top five dinosaurs. All right, top five dinosaurs. The first one they got is Godzilla. Nice one. Loch Ness Monster. Oh, that one in the Flintstones. I thought they were actually being serious then, calling Godzilla a dinosaur. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Anyway, moving on. Um, how's the making of it? Yeah, sorry. Let's try to move on. Oh, this is a good page now. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Again, it doesn't do justice with the screenshots, you know. And I don't know where they've got uh, an animated... They should have uh, Van Damme in there, shouldn't they? I like they got him there. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, So happy. Very happy owner of that. Oh, right, here we go. Uh, Darkstalker's Revenge. Yeah. Let me know in the comments if you're picking this up when it comes out on the Capcom Fighting Collection. Uh, coming out next month. Yeah, look at some of the crazy moves, man. These games just age so well, in my opinion. Uh, let's have a look what else we got. Pete Sampras. Fuck, I remember him. Work in progress. Manchester United. Championship soccer. Fuck, the way they play and they will be in the championship. Oh, Indiana Jones. This was my second, sorry, my first game on the uh, Master System. US Gold. Uh, what one? What, one sec. Oh, I can't read it from here. I think it was in the last crusade. It doesn't look at anything like this division I got. Let me tell you. Terrible game. Really hard. I'll have to give it another go, actually. Uh, Win a Sega Saturn. I wonder if that competition still are going. Uh, best RPG, what's this? Oh, best top tens. I love stuff like this. Best RPG. Wasn't didn't even know what an RPG was back then. Uh, obviously, I've heard of Shining Force, Fantasy Star, 
didn't play any of them back back then. Wouldn't know what to do with them. Worst, most steady game. Ryan Gig Soccer. Best game in the world. Number one, Doom for the 32X. Oh, Mortal Kombat 2. Micro Machines. Oh, that's a fantastic game. Very good version of it as well. Uh, it's quite unique, the cartridge on that. Because, um, of course, the Mega Drive was a two-player console. But the Micro Machines had extra on the actual cartridge. Uh, I think it had another two um, connectors for your controller. So you could play four-player. Really clever what some of these game developers had to uh, come up with back in the day. I'd love to have own uh, that just to show you. Sonic and Knuckles Virtua Fighter. NBA Jam. Our best beat em up. Right, so we've got Mortal Kombat 2. Super Street Fighter 2. It's interesting. Um, the Mortal Kombat beat in it. Virtua Fighter. Streets of Rage 3. Mortal Kombat. Got two Mortal Kombat games in the top five. Going to this magazine. Uh, Virtua Fighter Streets of Rage. Street, got Street uh, Street Fighter got two in the top ten. Um, that Dragon game, that's based on the movie, isn't it? The, uh, uh, about Bruce Lee's life. I'll have to look into seeing if there's a way to play that. Got Street Fighter, really, in the top ten. Anything else? Uh, sports games, FIFA 95. Right. I, I was more into platformers back then. Um, I prob yeah I yeah I would have heard of all those games back in the day, but um, this is what my friends group were more into: Mickey Mouse games, Earthworm Jim. Oh, he was massive back in the day. The Sonic games, obviously, Aladdin. Yeah, they were. Uh, that's what we were into back then. When we were young. Yeah, if my parents wouldn't be too happy if I was. Uh, if they came in and I was. Doing um, fatalities or something like that. Uh, that would probably be the end of my game in, you know? Uh, what else have we got? Alien, Soldier. Look at all these fucking celebrities. Is that Timmy Mallet? God, he was a thing back in the day. Looks good though, Alien Soldier. 85% for the Mega Drive. Again, 49.99. Don't know many people can play in games of 50 quid now. I paid forty four ninety nine for Elden Ring, brand new. I'm pretty sure there's more gameplay on that game than there is on Alien Soldier. Again, nothing wrong with Alien Soldier, but uh, yeah, your value is a lot better now than it was back then. What we got here? Mega CD Fatal Fury Special. 64%. What? What? I love these games. I think the problem they had back then, though, because the games just there was there was too many of them. Obviously, there was uh, in the nineties is seen as the golden golden age for fighting games. I love all the fighting games now. I'm not gonna lie, but there's something special about uh, the this genre of games, you know. Um, but maybe back then, uh, if you're a, a reviewer and you think, right, oh, I can review another fighting game and another one, another one. Um, let's have a look. Final verdict: sixty-four percent. Right, lifespan. Well, these are up to ten. I thought it was out of five then. Sound eight. Graphics six. You having a laugh? Graphics are stunning. Addiction four. Yeah, this person doesn't like his fighting games. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm pointing. I'm um, sorry. Um, final verdict: yawn. More of the same. Think about Eternal Champion CD. Why bother when saying the answer? Yeah, it sounds like they're just fed up. Uh, I think some people as well. So these games might not appeal to if, if they're a little bit slower. Some of these games, um, they're not as fluid. Do you know what I mean? As like uh, Street Fighter Two Turbo or something like that. You know. But wow, BC Racers eighty two percent. What did this do in graphics? See, this had a 9 on the graphics, right? A 9 out of 10. Yeah. And they're saying... This had a 6 out of 10. What are you talking about? No way. 
fucking losing my temper over bloody <laughs> a 90s games magazine. Uh, so I'll look what else we got. Saw into the Saturn. Just skimming over a bit now. Fucking 6 out of 10 for graphics. You're having a giraffe. Soccer. Some posters. Games Master. Oh, another awesome game. Samurai Showdown. Was this for the Mega CD? Oh my god, look at it. Oh, they only give it a 7. 53%. Ooh, and they're going to slam my fist on the table now. Right, okay. Graphic 7, Sound 6. Addiction 3 and Lifespan 3. I'm pretty sure more people are playing these games now than are playing... Um, what was that other game they were fucking bumming? Graphics 9. Oh no, to be fair, Addiction 5 and Lifespan 6, but 3s, are you really? Oh, this is, this is this. I'm not very really good with Galford, but um, that's what I think I look like with my dog. <laughs> oh, it's a wolf, is it? Galford, oh, it's a dog. Yeah, that's why I got a bandana. He's got a um, skull and crossbones bandana now, trying to make him look a bit uh, tougher. He's uh, soft as anything, mind. Got 53% for the Mega CD. I wonder how much that game goes for now. It was 34.99 back then. Made by JVC. Published by them, it must be, is it? Nakaruru. I'm thinking, um, while looking at this, I'm thinking of having some more tattoos. Um, I've got like, um, you know, family ones, things that mean personal to me. I've got like Valentino Rossi. Uh, tattoos. I'm going to have a couple more. And then I'm thinking about getting some gaming ones. Um, yeah, some really cool artwork of Nakaruru. And I'm thinking, yeah, maybe get that. So, like, have some Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Sam Showdown. Um, yeah, look at it. They've they spelled it wrong. So, Samurai Showdown. And then they've written you, look. Samurai Showdown. I used to do that. I thought I thought it did say showdown. And do you know when I was uh, doing searches and stuff about it, it wasn't coming up. It was like, it was such a hard game back in the day to do any research on. Because I thought it was showdown, not showdown. Anyway, the magazine's another misprint. I'll be phoning them up now. What else have we got? Adam's Family, 52%. Jelly Boy, fucking hell, we made a game about everything back in the day, didn't I? Nice hockey. All oh, my dog's coming up. Hey, right, boy. You being good? You being good? Back doors open. Back doors open. All right, he wants to say hello. One second. Say hello. Say hello. Shy again now, are you? You shy. You shy. <laughs> are you shy? Trying to make a video here, boy. We're live. We're live on telly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to try to pad up again now. All my camera equipment. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. Uh, back issues. Power tips. Oh, I messed up my thing now. One second. Yeah, I've just watched um, on Netflix, i watched it five times now, um, The Last Dance, about the Chicago Bulls in the 90s, and fuck, it's an amazing, it's by far my favourite sports documentary of all time. It's the only reason I've got my Netflix account, I'm not going to lie, and I've watched this 10 episodes, and they're all about an hour per episode, so what's that? watched it five times, fucking, it's a lot of hours... Um, and I'll probably watch it at least another five times, you know. Um, but yeah, it's kind of got me back into thinking about getting um, a basketball game. But I like the arcade kind of games. So let me know in the comments if anybody's into the basketball games. Which one should I be looking for, you know? Switch the rage. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Road Rash 3. Oh my god, look at this. Right, this isn't me, this is the magazine. I'm reading, I'm quoting the magazine here. Yeah. Me from China, 
me play joke, me put we, we in your cork. Yeah, I don't think you could get uh, away with stuff like that these days, you know? That wasn't me, that was the magazine. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me yet, anyway, you know? Anything else standing out, guys? Most wanted yak attack. I don't know what that is. Let's get going. Most wanted dogs. Cool. Um. Yeah, look at this as well, right? So, I suppose you can argue that the master system was uh, on its way out, but. No doubt, round about, when was this magazine? This was, uh, where was it? Does it say? Oh, July 1995. So I would have been 14 years old back then. Yeah, so I probably would have been Master System. Then I went into Super Nintendo. But I was still, I would have had my Master System hooked up. So then you've got your Mega Drive, nice big collection of Mega Drive games. Uh, Game Gear though, good selection. You've got 32X. And then fuck 3DO, you've got all these other consoles. Mega CD, a Master System, wide selection available, uh, lowest prices, please call. It's like, nah, didn't I mean show us what you got? I suppose the font is small, I can't really get much more on there but that was the norm it was almost like a forgotten console and my friends um back in the day it was like everyone had the mega drive super nintendo um but hardly anyone had the master system um i mean that's my little uh, little rant about that and out speaking of out that's the end of the video uh thanks guys for watching uh, please share my videos if you like them. Like the videos if you like them. Subscribe if you haven't already. I think we're up to, we're doing really well now. I've got like 15 or 16 subscribers. Which is mad that people like my content enough to subscribe. Much, much appreciated, guys. Uh, anyway, as always, I love you. Bye. -bye.